Yeah, is this Taylor? This is. Hi. Hey, Taylor, this is John Spanos calling from the Chargers. How you doing? <laughs> What's up, man? How are you doing? I'm doing all right, thanks. Hey, I, uh, I heard what happened to your house, man. I'm so, so sorry. I saw some of the videos online and, you know, more than anything else, I just wanted to call and, and, uh, and see how you're doing. So all of our stuff is smoke damage. Um, this is what's left of our house. Um, it was about 10, 10 o'clock, and we uh, we heard a popping noise, and we went and checked our back bedroom, and I mean, our whole tree above our trailer was already on fire. So our bedroom is where the baby was sleeping. It landed on our house and burnt everything that we had. My dad had bought me this, and it wasn't even opened. It's all right, man. Till the day I die, go Chargers. At the end of the day, my my wife and my daughter are okay and that's all that matters to me that's awesome that that is an unbelievable attitude a great one to have hey look you know one of the reasons i'm calling too i know you've been through a lot i know during hard times sometimes you know like a distraction and just getting away can be nice i wanted to see if you'd be open to uh to us flying you out here for a little visit maybe getting a tour of the new stadium and, and, and doing some fun stuff yeah man that, that i mean that would be amazing this is my wife shyla this is our daughter Chandler. She's gonna be two on Friday. Um, I'm Taylor, and we are the Soto family. You know, I was kind of still in a state of shock, not realizing that, you know, I'm, the owner called me personally, but he was very humble and, and very respectful and, and just wanted to make sure we were okay, you know? And, uh, and he got us a very, very nice hotel. Then it offered, you know, to fly us out here. Um, we decided to drive ultimately because my daughter's health she has autoimmune neutropenia, hemo hypertension, and hemochromatosis is what she has. So she's very, very uh, compromised to the whole COVID thing. So this is her first big trip and she did amazing. It's, it's so crazy looking. That's insane. I've never been to an NFL game. I've never been to an NFL stadium. We've seen Google pictures and, uh, dude, I'm happy to be here. Hi guys, I'm Taylor. Yes, it is. Oh yeah, dude. And we have a special guest for you sitting over here. How you doing? Is that Antonio Gates? Oh my goodness, dude. What's up, Goat? How you doing, How you doing man? man? Right. Oh, I'm good. Yes, man. sir. Yes. Yeah. That's crazy. Hello. This is my wife, Shia. Hey, how you doing? Hey. This is our daughter, Chandler. How you doing? Well, y'all like me. It's yeah. my first time. This is my first time seeing Oh, yeah. It, so. Is it really? Yeah, so I need to go on the tour as well. Watching since I was a kid, you know, getting to meet him in person and him being nice to my daughter and my wife, and it's just a little kid moment comes out of you, you know? No, if it's not too it's much, like can I give my dad a call? He would flip out. Okay. <laughs> dad. I know you're working, but you gotta unpause your video, please. <laughs> Dad, it's Antonio Gates. <laughs> What's up? What's up? <laughs> <He's> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> How you doing? Holy crap. Look at how crazy that thing looks. I've never seen anything like this. Right there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Before I throw this, I was a fullback and a linebacker. Okay, okay, I'm just letting you know. Yeah, yeah, don't don't hold it against me. <laughs> oh, that ain't, oh, that ain't bad. <laughs> Spiral too, you. Did you guys know that that was the first catch that he made in this stadium? Really? That's so crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> I wasn't expecting any of this and because of, you know, all the fans and the Bolt fam, we got to experience something amazing. I always knew that, like, football brings people together, but honestly, like, I, I was sitting there watching our house kind of in flames. I was just like, well, you know, we're, we're screwed now, and I never, ever dreamed that everyone would have done so much for us, and they did. A good player, though. I'm glad that oh, he's dude, back. Love, yeah. I'm glad that he's back. Oh. And he's healthy, man. Yeah. He's we, he's a game changer. We had 
just put our daughter to sleep and I moved my Derwin jersey from the couch, from the couch to the table. And the fire had started about 10 o'clock and I, I just didn't think of it, so I ran out. And when the fire department was like, all right, you know, go see what you can get out of the fire, there's not much. So it was on the, it was on the chair and I grabbed it. That was the first thing I saw and I said, okay. And that was the only thing I needed. Taylor! Shut up, dude. What's... Welcome to the store, man. Hey, yeah, this is crazy. What's up? Heard what happened, man. Sorry about that, man. We want to come show y'all a good time. Get whatever you want. Yeah. From us to y'all. Surreal to see him in person and shake his hand. And we called my dad and gave my dad a shout out. Me and your boy just in the stove, man, shopping a little bit. Oh, right on, right on, man. I think it does say a lot about him, too, because there could be football players who just, oh, that's great. Thanks for, you know, I share your tweet. and that, But he made the time to come down here and meet us. Your jersey I, I took out of my room that night before and I left it and she threw a bag over it and it ended up burning the bag but saving the jersey man. so I went and washed it. Man, I was gonna say, man, we gotta get you a new one and get it signed for you this time. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. I was actually kind of more excited to see them. This is me? <laughs> there you go. Just to see the smiles on their faces and hit him saying no way, you know, I really just wanted to just come out and just show my support in the way I could. We got to experience something amazing and I got to meet heroes of mine. I'll never have words. I can't tell you when you see someone smile, how that can change your day. The fact that I can come back and reach back and put a smile on someone's face is, is always a blessing. It's tough, we've been through a lot. And, and uh, just being able to, to have this experience, honestly, it, it gives us hope for a lot, you know? Um, it just shows that there's still good people in the world and that football is so much more than just a sport. As long as you have hope, you know, you have the will to fight, and, and, you know, and you'll never give up. And I think that's, to me, that's the message that I would I take from today. It's a life-changing experience, and I love the team even more, you know, the organization even more. It's so much more than a team now. I'm a Charger fan until I die.